Juanita Onzaga, you are the director of the short film Our Song to War that is selected at the Quinzaine des Réalisateurs this year. Um, could you tell us about your, your film, the story of your film and why you choose to talk about this particular subject? Um, so the story of my film is the story of my country <laughs> and um, the story of a very particular village seen through the eyes of some kids that are imagining um, imagining and talking about their imaginations. Um, in a way, the story is um, four different voices talking about what is in this uh, space called Bohaja, in this village, after the end of war in Colombia. In Colombia. So, um, in a way, it starts looking back at the past, looking back at the fact that in this village there was the worst massacre during the war. But then we go on. From the title on, we go on to what is, what is there after the government signs a peace agreement with um, the guerrilla. What, what do we have to look at? And for me, um, what I wanted to yeah, work in with the different voices of the villagers is um, a kind of reconciliation between the well the different persons that suffered during the war but also between the living and the dead and between our future and our past are you from this this village no <laughs> you're from colombia yeah i'm from colombia um although i've been living in brussels for the last um seven years so uh, but this village is afro-colombian so it's very a specific, very particular culture. And uh, your, your film is told in a very uh, uh, poetic form. Uh, so why did you choose this, uh, this form of storytelling? I think the, chose, the, the form chose me. <laughs> I, that's the only way I, I could do it. It's very playful. Um, and for me, poetry, it's, it's, it's very important if we're talking about violence, if we're talking about war. Um, I, I'm not interested in talking about it in the same terms than the media does it, that it is very shocking. I am interested in talking about it poetically because it opens sensations and emotions and it also opens relationships between violence and other things like spirits or storytelling um, or the landscape, the jungles. So. Poetry for me is also because uh, I write poetry since I'm 14. I actually wanted to study literature in France, in La Sorbonne. I did my exam to enter and I had to wait one year. And then in that year I started going to shoots. And then I was like, hmm, maybe I just want to just do films. And somehow when I started directing, when I started doing my first films, this poetry came back to me. So you're very international then. <laughs> <laughs> um, and is it your first time at the festival? Uh, how is it going for you? It's actually the second time. The first time I came like four years ago and I was a student, so I didn't have tickets for anything. I had to queue for three hours to see a film. So it's, and I remember <laughs> we said with my friends like, okay, next time we go to Cannes, we will have a film in. So now it's really cool. <laughs> now it's like, oh, I can do everything. I mean, not everything, but, it's um, it's a beautiful place, and it's a lot of really interesting people and really good films too. So um, I'm just enjoying it the most I can. <laughs> and are you going to keep do keep directing in the future? Yes, yes. I'm actually uh, now uh, developing my first feature film and a uh, another hybrid uh, film, short film. So I have both going on uh, development right now. Um, the feature film is called The Landscapes That You Seek and it's already in Torino Film Lab so I'm writing it currently. Great, well uh, thank you so much and uh, yeah good luck. <laughs> thank you.